everybody and welcome. Good job, Nick. Man, we are fighting the elements today. Uh, thanks for coming in. Uh, welcome to TransWest here in Frederick, Colorado. TransWest Truck Trailer RV. Uh, we are uh, here today looking at a wonderful Bay Star. Uh, this is a really cool unit. Uh, this just came in on Friday. It's a 2021 Bay Star. It's a 3014. So as big as this feels, it's actually a really small little coach. Uh, my name is Katie O'Neill. I'll be your guide today. Uh, Nick is my camera guy. As you saw, we're facing a lot of wind, so the, the cabin's rocking. But if you notice, it's really quiet in here. So you're in for a treat. Hold on to your hats. Uh, my number is 303-562-8659. Again, 303-562-8659. And katie.oneill at transwest.com. Uh, please feel free to text, email, reach out to us on Facebook Live with any questions you might have. Uh, be kind. These are live videos. Um, but I think you'll find this is a really exciting coach. For those of you who are maybe into hmm, a Navion, uh, maybe you're into uh, a Wayfair, something a little bit smaller, uh, this is a better option in my opinion because it's got better water capacity, uh, better living facilities, and a really, really attractive price point. So the MSRP on this, R on this RV is only 18803 so you'll note if you've been in the Navion market that that's kind of what you're looking at for a much smaller RV. This one has a lot better amenities um, and a lot of nice features. So I hope you'll enjoy the tour. We're going to go ahead and start from the back today. Nick, if you'd like to go ahead. This is a stunning coach. Please feel free to pan as you go. Um, not a lot of places where you get a full kitchen with an island. It's a really, really nice layout. And again, this is a 3014 Bay Star by Numar. Um, it's, it's honestly one of my favorite. This is a sterling uh, exterior with the urban decor on the interior. So I love this gray finish. Uh, you'll notice we have two sinks. Pretty cool going back. Really nice big shower. And a really nice bedroom. Uh, one of the things I like about this bedroom the most is that first and foremost, this bed does not fold. This is on a, on a full slide so it's got its own slide and what that does for you is it gives you um, a queen size bed now you could do a king in this uh, with the reason we cho chose the queen though is the king would delete these side windows um, so it's really nice to have these extra side windows um, if you decide that you'd like to have a king size bed in this unit you can have it with the side windows we can actually remove these nightstands for you and install a king in this unit so you could have the best of both worlds but we order it this way because if we don't then we don't get these two windows for cross ventilation uh, now that brings us to overhead cabs what's really nice is above this lovely headboard you'll notice you've got this really spacious cabinet and there are um, little holes here these little black circles where you can actually run a CPAP machine and there's 110 outlets on top of here so if you do have a CPAP machine uh, you can use that in this RV um, another feature that I really love about this is his backlighting. I just think it's really decadent. It's quite pretty. And then I'm going to come over here to the other side before Nick has a chance to escape and show you this really big closet. Look at all of that space. Um, so you'll note we have lights above and inside, so lots of uh, visibility. If you want to get up and get ready in the morning, it's still dark out. Get ready for your hike maybe really big drawers uh, this is the arctic finish um, i love this nice light white color um, just beautiful and i want you to know it is so windy right now i can hear a little bit of the wind in this rear window and nick you can go ahead and show these folks this is an exit window this is another really nice feature to have a big bedroom window like this is awesome and then you do have your day shades and your night shades both so you've got shades here, but it's nice to have a window here in the back of the coach. That's something that's really unique to the 3014. There's another window here. Uh, so if you want to have cross ventilation, I'm afraid to open this, but yeah, it's not that bad. Um, you can kind of hear it whipping above, but so really nice that you have a few windows in your bedroom. Um, this also does have the auxiliary heater in the bedroom, as well as um, there's a package that you have to have to have power to this nightstand. And this has that package, which is actually an extra inverter. And that's important. So if you've got a CPAP machine, please note that that is not a standard feature. It's just available on this particular coach. It's how we've ordered it. Um, of course, really nice TV here, Samsung. 
And then here is where you'll have your slide control for the rear bedroom. And then right below here, the sol below the solid surface countertop that you have here, you also have your Blu-ray player with a glass front. So this is actually a, little, a nice little spot to be able to sit down and get your shoes on and off. Um, and that's going to bring us to one of my favorite features about the 3014. Instead of having a round shower, you have this big shower with a skylight. So plenty of room for a big guy to get in there and to, you know, take a shower, feel comfortable. Lots of shelves for soap. You've got a removable shower head so you can sit down and get your feet cleaned off if you need to. But once again, just a really, really nice shower. And then right below that, we've got our Dometic toilet. And I am going to go ahead and just close this for you. So you'll see that it's a triple pane of glass. And that just stows away right here next to your bathroom pantry. So this is just a great little RV with a ton of storage room. Look at all of that room. Now, honestly, you could use that room really for shoes even if you wanted to, hiking boots, things along those lengths. Um, so this has got, uh, not only does it have a lot of uh, nice shower capacity. It's also got uh, a huge advantage to those in that C-Class version. Uh, we've got a 60-gallon gray tank, a 40-gallon sewage tank, and a 75-gallon freshwater tank. Uh, also a 25-gallon propane tank. So for those of you who haven't camped before, or even if you have, if you're looking for something that's maybe a bit of a difference maker that's going to give you a little more capacity to be out longer, to be a little more comfortable without having to go in and refill, this is where you get it. Um, so this base star, I think a lot of people assume is going to be so much more expensive than a C, but this is the same. Uh, this is the same price point, and as you can see, you just get so much more. So a dual vanity. Look at all of this medicine cabinet storage. It's absolutely incredible. And then 110 outlets below, and you've got a his and hers, you know, stainless steel. Uh, you know, undermount sinks for, you know, for two people. And then look at all of this storage. So this is really pretty exciting stuff. Um, I'll open from the bottom to the top just so we can see all of them. But everything is going to be made once again in uh, Napanee, Indiana. Uh, that's where Numar is located. So when you know the difference, uh, you buy a Numar. This is, this is, there's a lot of different reasons for it, but one of the things that's really differentiating uh, in this RV is not only just the size, but also just the quality of the finishes and the really good attention to detail. For instance, instead of having a, you know, a dent in your wall, you have a nice little chain that keeps things from opening too much. Tons of room to put uh, towels. Uh, you've got your washcloth and towel holders here. And then right up here on this wall, uh, right here, Nick, at the entrance into the bedroom, there's a place to put your bathrobe. And then there's also a really nice place to keep all of your fuses and your circuit board. And there's a nice layout right here with all of uh, the labeling for what goes where. They do come with spare fuses. But as you can see, just this attention to detail. And up here is a fantastic fan really great feature that will uh, go down in the rain. And I am going to pull this slide in while we're here. Nick, you can go ahead and go up front if you want while you're waiting for me. I just want to get this pulled in. One of the nice features about this RV is not just the way that it looks on the inside, but also the outside. So I'd like to be able to show it to you closed up. And um, I also want to show you today how easy it is to access the restroom uh, with this completely closed. This has got to have one of the most easy access points we have in all of the RV lineup that we have. And again, in a 30-foot coach, not only are you compact, but man, you have so many nice amenities in this RV. And it's so easy to get up and ready to rock and roll because I just pulled the whole slide in. One of the nice features about this is for those of you who are looking at a seat that maybe has an extendable slide with a Murphy bed, you don't need to extend your slide to have access to your restroom nor to your bed. You could actually access everything with all of the slides pulled in. So I think that that's really attractive. And then if you have kids with you, and this coach is perfect for people who have grandchildren or friends that want to go camping, um, they each have a way to close off the restroom. So the bedroom can be separate from the bathroom because this is a mid-bath model. Really efficient use of space and once again really cool because if somebody in the front gets up early 
or that needs to use a restroom maybe in the middle of the night, they're not going to wake up the people in the back bedroom or vice versa. So very handy there. Um, another nice feature of this 3014, you know, glassware is always such a challenge. What a nice place to be able to keep all of your uh, glasses, to keep tumblers, things along those lines, canned soup, whatever it might be, just nice pantry storage. Uh, there's another really great pantry space right here. Now this is great for olive oil, cereal boxes. I mean, there's just so much storage in this unit. Um, really a differentiating feature. And then you'll notice here we have our table extension. So this little guy right here um, actually goes in here. And so you have a really nice table. The two extra chairs are underneath the bed in the back. Um, if you don't need to bring them with you, you could use that under storage for uh, wardrobe space. But to be honest with you, with as much wardrobe as you have in this RV, I don't know that you'd really need to do that. You could just bring your chairs with you. And if you have an impromptu party, so be it. Um, so look at this kitchen. How cool is this? I mean, if you can imagine sitting here having a nice meal prepared, a little place to put your chips and guacamole, um, a dual stainless steel basin sink undermount with a residential style faucet, spray and pour both. And I love, love, love this Corian countertop. And look at this solid surface with this beautiful tile inlay. Just really, really um, nice amenities, nice attention to detail. Very modern as well. Um, you know, I think that's one of the things that really makes a difference with a new Mars. You don't feel like you're in kind of a stodgy old motorhome. It's very contemporary, uh, very, very on par with today's style. And just a ton of storage in this kitchen. And I would normally say in this little kitchen, but it's not a little kitchen. It's really a very, very big kitchen with a ton of space. And I don't know if you can see that, Nick, but this goes through. So you've got access from two points, which is really nice. And then another cabinet here. And then down here, what's really cool is you have things like a place to stow your uh, dish brush or your sponge. Um, so great use of space there. Nice little slide out drawers. Again, everything is soft close. Just really high construction quality. Lots of room underneath here. I mean, I can just imagine that you could keep all of your pots and pans underneath there. And then as well, you have four drawer storage. I mean, what a luxury. What a nice coach. Oh, here's all of your paint, your touch-up paint. All of the Numars come with touch-up paint, which is pretty awesome. But once again, great storage. And then behind us, another cabinet. And in this little guy here, you'll notice that we have uh, remotes for your awning, for your TVs. And then that leads us to our three burner propane stove. Again, 25 gallon capacity. Uh, this is really nice. Look at this counter space. So this is so much counter space. And I love that there's not only a vent in your uh, microwave, so you've got an above vent here, but there's also another window that opens behind your counter. So if you're making bacon or anything like that, you've got a place for all of that fresh air to come in, get the smelly stuff out. Um, this coach was ordered uh, particularly on purpose with an oven instead of a convection and microwave. Uh, one of the things that's nice about this, you can really keep, if you're one of those people who likes to make pastas or bring, you know, do lots of cookies, things along that, you've got a nice place to keep big pots while you're traveling down the road. So a lot of extra storage there. And then underneath here, look at how much space you have for like cookie trays. Uh, we do a lot of the plastic trays instead of uh, uh, plastic plates at our campsite because they sit on your lap a little bit easier when you're sitting around the campfire. So really nice storage here. Um, this is the upgraded 11 uh, cubic foot refrigerator. This does have the ice maker and it also has two extra batteries. So just a little extra power. Um, and then this RV for, I wanna say just under, uh, just around $3,500, $3,600. Uh, is pre-wired for solar so if you wanted to add solar to this unit very very simple it's been pre-wired it has all of the extra batteries has all of the extra juice so it's already ready for you if you want to do a little bit more of that off the beaten path camping maybe less parkside certainly this is you know got your plug-in capacity it's got lots of fresh water it's got a nice gray water uh, or you know uh, water station down below but if you want to get off the beaten path and maybe go out where you aren't plugged in having the capacity and having this pre-wired for solar is important and this has already been done and then also having all of those extra batteries already installed 
So there's just another storage area. Great place for hot sauce, things along those lines. And then that brings us to, wow, look at this. How cool. So no, not just a television. Sure, that's awesome. But what about this? What about a really nice fireplace? Now, if you're out camping and it gets cold, this isn't just a decorative item. This has a blower. So you have all this warm air that comes out and then you still have all of your storage. So you haven't really lost anything, but you have gained a ton of storage. And then here's another one. So I really, really, really love this fireplace. And just a really nice amount of storage. And then let's go ahead, Nick, I'm gonna come over here and you can keep on that side because I'm gonna put the TV down. And then up here, once again, day shades, right? And then also your MCD night shades. So really nice darkening, oops, wrong one, of the cabin. Let me get up there and grab that one. Look at that. So if you have kiddos that are sleeping up here, um, fresh air once again throughout the RV. It's nice just to have windows, really get that cross ventilation going. Um, so that's great in all aspects. This countertop here also, what a great place to have a buffet, maybe to put some chips and dip out, um, just to have a party, have people come over. Um, I love the railing. What a nice little feature that is. And then that's going to bring us to this other side of the RV. So the decorative sconces, I mean, these are timeless finishes. This RV is going to look classic for a long, long time. It's going to be in style. It doesn't look dated. Everything is so contemporary, so beautiful. There's so much room for board games, cards, Monopoly, whatever it is that you want to bring with you. Also campfire supplies, things along those lines. Just really, really great storage in this RV. And then one of my favorite features of this RV is how easy it is to make this bed. Now, um, when you're shopping in the C-Class range, if you're looking for something that would actually seat five, I run into this a lot. Um, I have a lot of people who are like, gosh, I really want to get a Navion, but it only has four seat belts. Well, guess what? All three of your littles can hang out here on the road and go wherever you go because there is a safe place for them to sit. Um, so I'm going to just show you the seat belts. I already have them kind of set out back here. Let me put this leg down real quick. Here we go. Um, so not only do you have a great bed, but if you want to bring your kids, you've got three lap belts here. So you can actually have seating for five. And then also, more importantly, uh, sleeping for five. I swear this goes down really easily. I just did it a few minutes ago. <laughs> but anyway, so really, really cool, um, you know, that you can actually have all of the grandkids out camping with you. I don't know where the holdup is with this. Let me see, hold on. There we go. There we go. Um, but look at how much room. I mean, this is gigantic. So uh, windows once again above, day and night shades. Lots and lots of storage, three seat belts. This really rivals um, a lot of what you can do in uh, those seas. And you know, it's only five feet longer. See, I told you that was easy. Oh, I made it look hard, but I'm gonna turn off that fireplace. It's getting hot in here. It's really nice here today in Colorado. It's gonna snow tomorrow. True story. All right, so super simple to close. Just put it down, folds back together. These are all attached, so they're really easy to get right. They just Velcro in place. So as you can see, um, look at how much living space we have. And then really nice uh, soft finish ceiling. Um, just a really beautiful uh, cab here with tons and tons of space. So. I love this galley. Uh, this RV is built on Ford's new V8. So we've done the V10 Plus for a long time. Um, it was a great engine for 20 years. 
whenever you've been making with something for 20 years there's got to be something better on the other side so 350 horsepower you know Ford's continued to do it this has really become new one of the new standards 468 foot-pounds of torque 5,000 pound flat tow capacity 5 pound 5,000 pound trailer capacity now some RVs are different uh, this actually has a capacity for 5,000 total pounds so that's really exciting uh, these seats not only do they rotate but they also have this really cool desk um, I want to show you this so if you're traveling and you want to eat a hamburger what do you do well there you go you have a nice table so you can turn your seats around and use this as a card table you can put it up while you're you know while you're driving so if you go through a drive-thru well you probably wouldn't go through a drive-thru maybe your wife made you a sandwich uh, you would be able to sit down and have a flat surface to put everything and I actually really like this for the simple fact it's nice to have good cup holders and a great place to keep your phone and then I also wanted to make sure I showed you for those of us ladies who are out there driving got a place to keep your lip gloss your chapstick now this RV is on I know you can't believe it because it's so quiet but I wanted to show you this new dash really really cool cruise control here on this on the steering wheel and then you have all of your different menus so you can see what the temperature is you can see your fuel efficiency how many miles you have left in your gas tank how long the RV has been on so really 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 awesome and a really attractive dash I think uh, over here on the left you've got power mirrors to the exterior that's awesome your generator runs right here and then you'll notice that we also have battery boost so if you need to use your house batteries to, to jump to get a little bit of a run you can um, and then this is just a stock control really easy to drive nice Ford V8 chassis and you'll notice right here we also have our hydraulic leveling jacks so this is a really, really cool RV for a lot of diff different reasons. Um, but the fact that it's on this new Ford V8 chassis is super important. Oh, I turned it off before I showed you. Hold on, let me just start that up one more time. The reason I've had this running isn't so I can listen to the radio. It's so I can show you you've got a rear camera here, and then you've also got your navigation. Um, the one thing that's nice about having the Random McAnally navigation system is that you have something that's going to tell you if you're going to be on a bridge that's too heavy or if you're going to have a low overpass. So this will help get you where you need to go really easily. And it's just nice and integrated into your dash uh, while you're driving. So we like that a lot. Um, up here, you'll notice we have room for if you want to put a receiver in. And then uh, we opted not to put the TV in the front here. I think we found that most of our clients these days are not necessarily needing a television. If they want to watch a movie on their phone or on an iPad, it's pretty easy nowadays. So just more storage, uh, which I think is pretty nice. Uh, your shades, of course, come all the way down. And then note that we have these really big windows on both sides. So these are just super cool um, amounts of fresh air that you're allowed to have in this cabin for cross ventilation, especially in a nice warm day. And then one of the big deals about this RV, and probably the best thing, is when you know the difference, you buy a Numar. And the reason that is is because you've got people like Steve Moser who are there for you to answer questions. So we have uh, Bill Habercorn. He works full time doing nothing except for helping our, uh, our uh, clients here at Trans West Truck Trailer RV in Frederick know how to use their RV. Uh, we also have locations in Grand Junction and Fountain. Uh, we also have a, a location in uh, Missouri, in Belton, Missouri. But if you can't get a hold of one of our representatives, Gary Mavellan, who's quite famous online, he does all of our technical walkthroughs when you take delivery, he'll spend anywhere between you know an hour to three hours with you, depending on what you need. Um, those people are here for you, but Numar has people specifically set with this coach who know how it's equipped, what's on it, and they can help you get out of a jam if you have issues. And that's something that's really differentiating in the marketplace. Uh, so Numar is really, you know, we used to have some competition with other manufacturers. Um, recently, uh, we, we found ourselves to be kind of alone on the playing field for being just state of the art and really great at uh, customer support. Um, I think that you'll find owning a Numar really is, uh, a, is a pleasure and it's something you can make an investment like this and keep this coach for years and years and years. Um, I wanted to just show over here on this side, Nick, 
I know we spent a lot of time on the inside for such a little RV, but check this out. Look at this great table. So for those of you who are working from the road, uh, we have a system here called Cradle Point, which would allow you to do Zoom calls. You could literally be driving down the interstate and answering emails all here right at your desktop, at your cup holder for your coffee, get on the road early in the morning, get to work. That way, by the time you get to your next destination in the afternoon, go ahead and pump up those paddle boards and get out there on the lake. So super, super awesome. Um, one of the things that happens here is we have all of our controls. So you'll notice that this coach has the optional heat pads as well. So this is going to be a, a coach that's going to be good in cooler conditions as well. Um, all of your awning controls are right here. Your, uh, your Truma uh, controls for your hot water. You've also got your um, everything you need for your Xantrex, for your inverter. Everything is right here in this cabin. Um, and I am going to go ahead and put these slides in because it is really quite spectacular to see how much space you have to walk up and down the aisles of this coach. I would say out of everything that we sell, this RV probably has the most mobile room. So if that's an important feature for you, if you're looking for something that's going to get into a lot of parks because it's uh, smaller in size, this is it. This 3014 is such a great layout for people who want flexibility and want comfort on the road. Um, it's incredible. I mean, so if you can imagine, you got your grandkids here watching a movie, driving down the road, they have access to the refrigerator. Um, of course, this is locking right here. You just pull this over, that locks. Um, but they, could li they can use the microwave, and then they can get all the way back here into the bathroom. I mean, this is crazy. Like, this is a lot of, a lot of space for going back and forth. Um, so if you, you know, wanted to come back and let's say you wanted to land at night and you didn't want to pull your slides out, you can really easily access this bedroom. So once again, one of the best features about this, if you're in the market, for you know, maybe a small A or a C, it's just accessibility and usability. This is such a user-friendly RV. Um, I love it. I love it a lot. And of course, all of your water glasses are right here. So everything that you need is super simple to access. You could have your fireplace going while you're driving down the road, um, all that stuff. So Nick, I know it's crazy, but let's go outside. Oh, I like this too. You get like your little day shade. Who's that? Okay. Here we go, guys. Oh boy, I can feel it rocking and rolling. It is so windy. It's so funny because you would never know uh, by the sound of this coach. But here we go. Woo! I am going to lock this door in place. So there's a big difference to, in my opinion uh, between the Baystar and the Baystar Sport. Uh, one of the biggest differences is in the wheels. So getting into this 20, uh, 22 and a half inch wheel with this big rim and this big Michelin tire really is going to help you get comfortable down the road. So that's a really big difference between a Baystar Sport and a Baystar. Um, right here you'll notice we would normally have our awning out but of course it's a bit windy today, so your awning's right here. It's a really big awning. And then another really big differentiating feature, here's one of our extra inverters, but here's a lot of under cab storage. Once again, if you're on the fence between an A and a C, very much similar price points, both very affordable, but this one gives you a lot more bang for your buck in my opinion. Now this is a tandem, this, I mean, how much room can you have? It's just so cool. You know, that's a really long storage area. And if you'll notice, Nick, this goes all the way through to the front here. So if you have fishing poles or anything along there, you can do that. And this is the Sterling graphics again on the exterior. It's just a really beautiful RV. I love the colors. I like the light tones, easier to keep clean. And then just another storage bay. Of course, you've got lighting in here as well. So if you are getting something out late at night, you need to have lights to take things in and out. You've got lights underneath. 
Look how beautiful this is done though. This is just such a nice classy RV with just so much storage. And I love the way that they allow these bays to be used in tandem so that you have more long storage. And then it's nice to have these individualized bays. If you were using one of those outdoor um, propane uh, barbecues, or not barbecues, but propane campfires. Uh, we have an Outlander that we use. Here in Colorado, we have fire vans all the time. But the Outlanders are pretty much al allowed uh, throughout the uh, parks, like up in Estes. So a really nice place to have that. And then again, more storage. It's just incredible how much storage you get in a space star. So if you're somebody who wants to get out and get on the road, again, this RV has a 5,000 pound towing capacity. Oh, uh, we do have the optional ladder, and you've got your SAM units, it's already wired. This would be a great RV to pull the Jeep. And then there's your rear view camera, ladder access, LED tail lights for really quick braking alerts. There's your 50 foot uh, cord. So great 50 amp power. Another storage bay. Pretty impressive. Uh, you've got an 80 gallon tank here for fuel. So you've got an 80 gallon fuel tank. That's also very impressive. A lot of gas, less frequent stops, shorter, uh, shorter days, more time at the beach. That's a put your gravity hose so you can keep it separate from your water bay. And look how nice this is. So well set up. You have a whole house water filter. That is an option. So we've opted for the whole house water filter. Also really cool. You can store, you can just have that run right out into the park. So you don't have to have any of your bay doors open. This cover should probably be on. Um, and then there's also an outdoor shower. So really nice there as well. So if you want to wash off your paddle board, clean off the, the dogs after a long day at the water. And as you can see, this is where we would have access if you wanted to winterize your coach. Uh, we would be happy to do that for you here at Trans West. Um, you know, a lot of people use these full time and if you want to keep it winterized during the winter, you don't want water on board, we're happy to do that for you. If you're coming in from Florida and you want to drive home, a lot of people like to come here to Colorado and pick up their RVs because there's so much great camping here. And so instead of driving all the way out and back, you just buy a new one, start your camping trip in the Rockies and then head whatever direction it is that you might go. And then here's that slide. Look at how big this slide is. So not only do you have the slide on the other side, the bedroom slide, but you also have this huge slide down the side of this coach, giving you all that much extra room. Uh, that's why that galley area is so big. As you can see, more storage underneath. Once again, lit. Uh, really, really great. And then here's your 5.5 uh, kilowatt Onan quiet generator. This is a great feature. And then here are your uh, batteries. What's really nice about this, as I mentioned, is that this coach has been ordered with all of the extra batteries so if you couple this with some solar and uh, a cradle point you could really hit the road and stay out for a long time again 25 gallon uh, capacity here and just really really easy um, so yeah this is this is a really nice opportunity for anyone looking for a new mar 3014 is a really great floor plan. Um, again, we're looking at 5N201243. Again, 501201243. N this is a 3414. Great, great coach. My number is 303-562-8659. Again, 303-562-8659. So for any of you looking for something, you know, that you can get parkside under that 35 foot mark. Here you go in all of its glory. Take a look, bring her home, go camping, have fun, live life to its fullest, take advantage of the great United States. Uh, thanks very much for tuning in today. We'll see you next time. Reach out if you've got any questions. We'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.